อาจารย์ปณิธาน so we have been see more details coming out of the of the decree of the state of emergency but can you tell us again how does it will cover Well, I think essentially a special power will be uh, put in place uh, in the next day or two. Uh, special committee will be set up, uh, and uh, I think they will look into the uh, using extra power to control the movement of the people and to control the usage, you know, of the areas as well as the buildings. So I think this is critical. To slow down the spread of the virus, I think this is very different from uh, special decree, emergency decree that we have used uh, in the past. In uh, in the past, we have focused on the uh, uh, violence, uh, political demonstration, and the uh, and the uh, fighting that erupted in the southern Thailand. But but this time is uh, very different. Uh, different. This is why I think the administration. Needs uh, time to plan the uh, uh, the uh, uh, different uh, strategies. For example, you need to allow the critical and essential services to continue. Uh, med medical uh, uh, personnel, communication staff, the media in, in in certain areas, and also factories and production of food and other areas uh, must continue during the uh, control of the movement. This is going to be different and challenge. And secondly, of course, uh, this is not to, so to say, stop the bleeding, but this is to cure, you know, the country at the same time. So it's a different uh, application altogether. So, yes. so many times, why do you think the state of emergency is necessary? Is it does it mean that because of the attempts by the government to ask people to cooperate, I mean, by not traveling and stay at home, I mean, it, that doesn't work. I mean, the, the Measure. It's difficult to change uh, people's uh, way of life, uh, social behavior. Uh, of their life, they have been uh, communicating, contacting, going out of uh, uh, of their home to do their own business. Now it's time to force them to stay home, and this is not going to be easy. Uh, special power is needed. Uh, we have tried in the past uh, a few weeks, uh, and the uh, evaluation from the Uh, different experts are uh, indicated that uh, we are now moving into the critical period, a junction. Uh, if we cannot control uh, the spread of the virus by controlling the movement of the people, uh, in the next few weeks, situation may be out of control. Medical staff uh, could be overwhelmed. And in fact, today, medical staff already uh, began to contract the virus, and some hospitals uh, may maybe. Have to be shut down. So this is a, indeed a very good pe period that we need to move into the upper uh, level of control and management of the crisis. The, did, did the scene of thousands of people at Mohachi bus terminal over the weekend was it the last straw that made the government decide that it need to impose some kind of uh, emergency measures? Well, uh, part of the I think uh, intention is to allow uh, with the. Uh, Uh, with the very strict guidelines and enforcement to allow uh, selected groups of people to return home, mm -hmm. I think this is critical for them. Uh, as we are now seeing the uh, hospital beds and hospital staff uh, in the provinces, uh, uh, thousands of them still available compared to hundreds only in Bangkok. So, uh, on one hand, you need to allow people uh, to return home since the offices are closed. Uh, on the other hand, you need to control how they return home and how they stay home. So preparations were put in place in the last few days to make sure that the local administration, volunteer staff, and 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 also officers on the ground in the provinces are able to receive them into different areas of, of you know of control and quarantine. And this is very critical for Bangkok uh, to maneuver around and and, and move into the. Uh, heart of the crisis in the next few weeks. Is the state of announcing state of emergency equal with national lockdown? Well, I think it's not 100% lockdown. I don't think 190 some countries can totally uh, 100% shut down. You need to allow medical supply to come in. You need to allow uh, 
power uh, uh, maintenance of the power uh, sources, uh, electric company uh, must be up and running. In fact, uh, you must make sure that electric company, Wi-Fi, you know, and and modern media are still up and running in a much uh, extra capacity. So this is not going to be a shutdown of the whole system. Rather, it's going to be shut down the social movements of ordinary people who stay home is safer. Uh, that we allow others uh, that uh, need to play their roles in solving this crisis, not only the medical staff, but uh, services, maintenance, factories, medical supplies, people to move around and to be able to uh, fight this uh, battle. So if you are ordinary Bangkok kids or even foreigners in, in Bangkok, how are you supposed to conduct yourself in the next I mean, few weeks under this uh, decree? Well, first tune in. Uh, tune in and listen to the orders because uh, uh, you may face criminal charges if you don't follow these orders. But of course, beyond criminal uh, charges, uh, it's very good for your own good to stay home, you know, to, to quarantine yourself, and this is the best way to fight the virus. The virus doesn't fly to you. Uh, people fly, people walk into the viruses. So I think first listen and tune in. There will be a single command control communication uh, center or system being erected right now. Uh, and second, of course, uh, to be very prudent at home, you know, uh, you need to be uh, uh, able to uh, work from home. You need to be able to uh, carry on certain uh, normal functions of life uh, at home. I think this is very important that uh, we need to also work from home. And, 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 and lastly, of course, uh, for those who can go out, uh, allowed to go out and, and uh, should go out and need to go out, uh, they have to follow strict guidelines and then they need to follow procedures. Uh, some of them may need to play an uh, effective role in helping to contain the virus as such. Uh, they cannot stay at home. So for those people, they need to have different sets of guidelines. And, and uh, at first, it could be confusion uh, mm -hmm. as who can go out, uh, who should do. Uh, common sense can kick in. I think uh, if you don't have any duty, uh, it's better to stay home. Mm -hmm. As of now, Dr. Panichan, do you know whether from now on, Prime Minister Prayut Chan Ocha will address the whole nation like today, every day, during this state of emergency? Do you consider usually, this part of communication from the government? Yes, yes, usually. Usually during the state of the emergency, uh, in the morning, at 9 or at 8, uh, a small group of uh, uh, committee that uh, uh, administrate the situation, issue orders, uh, will meet, and after that they will have a press conference on what to do on that day. And then, and then after that, uh, in the afternoon, in the evening, evaluation will be completed, and they may adjust their uh, measures in the next day or two. Uh, it could be possible that we can see a series of uh, orders coming out uh, uh, every day, and adjustments also. Uh, on one day, they may order you to be restrictive on certain things on the next day, they may change that. This is uh, uh, reflecting the very uh, uh, different situation that we have uh, at hand. Can, can we describe uh, all these measures as part of a partial lockdown of Thailand? Uh, yes, of course, of course. I think uh, uh, this is a different type of lockdown or shutting down the system uh, uh, so as uh, we can be more safer. Uh, cutting off uh, uh, people's uh, uh, connectivities, uh, connections uh, personally, that, that's one. Uh, and second, of course, uh, Prime Minister must, during this so-called short, uh, short uh, lockdown or shutdown, uh, circuit breaker, actually, uh, we need to push some productivities. Uh, we need to push the uh, recovery uh, of the uh, uh, people who are sick. This is different uh, altogether. At the same time, uh, as well as you control the movement of the people, you must push different agencies to better care people, to let them out of the hospital, to return home. That will bring uh, uh, the uh, availability to those people who are needed, uh, uh, hospital beds you know, and medical attention to move into the hospital. So you need to do a caring, uh, a uh, taking care of the people at the same time. You, you just not don't shut down and stay home alone. You need to work hard to make sure that uh, all systems are working out, uh, to make sure that people are, uh, are care of, in including people who are now 
on a daily basis, their life are depending on their income. Uh, when you ask them to stay home, every day you need to uh, make sure uh, that how they are going to survive. And yes. this is another uh, challenge for the uh, emergency uh, center. They need to manage that. Uh, one of the articles allow them to do that. Uh, the, so the prime minister must also uh, look into these activities, uh, these well-being of the people who are staying at home with no income or, or little or little support, you know, from others. And it is this is why some of them may need to return home, as they have bigger families at home to support, as they have more friends at home. Imagine they are locked out in a, a very small uh, dormitory here, uh, not knowing anyone. Uh, or their factories are shutting down and they need to stay without any support and that will be more critical you know, for the government to use emergency to help these people to survive on a daily basis. Ajahn Barinthan, so, you said the government has emergent meeting every day at about 8 to 9 o'clock. Do you still meet at the government house or right now it has to be teleconference meeting, digital meeting already? I think uh, this is going to be the first time that the emergency uh, center may have to be online too. Uh, mm -hmm. Although the uh, committee is quite small, um, today you uh, already saw the, the uh, very minimalist uh, cabinet meeting, you know, just a few people, deputy prime ministers and prime minister meeting uh, online with all ministers that are staying at their ministries. And in the next few days, may they may have to stay at home, uh, these minist ministers and work from home too. Uh, emergency center uh, may have to function that way too. But the nature of the center is very small already. So I think it's not going to be a problem. So Dr. Panitan, uh, even though the decree allows the prime minister to maintain the emergency situation for a maximum of three months, right? But today, the prime minister said he would have it that last only for one month. Why, why one month? I think four weeks. Uh, it's based on the uh, scientific and medical evaluations of many countries. Uh, those countries that are very much uh, restrictive, very much uh, serious, applying their very, very uh, intense measures of locking down, they see improvements within four weeks. Uh, who knows uh, if the Thai people are col collaborating with the government, uh, it may be shorter than that, but no one knows. It depends on different circumstances. But so four weeks is a standard. I think scientific uh, measurements from different countries at, at, at the moment. Okay. So thank you very much, Dr. Panitan, for joining us today to give us more detail regarding the, the declare of the state of emergency. Thank you very much for joining us. And both of you... Thank you for having me. Especially Ajahn Panitan, so have your time in working from home right now, so you must be quite busy. Yes, 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 it's more difficult than we think. But uh, I think in the, uh, in the next few weeks, uh, we should be good at this uh, for the next few months. Okay, thank you.